Well, I'm welcoming you to another round of stories making headlines in the country. Kama kawaida, my name is Melanz Milo, aka Fula, and in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Horrible Nobat Mao, has fired back at haters who are laughing at him after President Museveni, in an interview yesterday on NBS TV, revealed that he has never and has no plans of discussing transition of power with him and that it's not even included in the cooperation agreement. However, Nobat Mao says that the fact that everyone is now paying attention to the topic of transition in the country, that is already a plus for him. He's already winning and he's on the right track until a peaceful transition of power is witnessed in this country. Nobat Mao has also insisted that the issue of a peaceful transition of power from President Museveni to a new person was part of the cooperation agreement he signed with President Museveni and that the next step will be agreeing on the details of the transition to a new Uganda. Well, different people, others members of parliament, have put out their opinions. Let's first of all listen in and I'll be back shortly. <laughs> tiyari kubyanchu kachuka era ne mawa akimanyi nti endaga no jibasa inika kubanga bo jisoma kubira dala wetandikira paka ku nkomerero teyogera ko kubya kuchusa bukulemeze so mawo jesa geza ko kudisa bana Uganda ya yogera nani ndi banange ngenda mu NRM ere tuliye ngenze na lyoli erino yeke kintu ke yali asibiye nga kiri muuchi echa transition ki yagama nti ate sana ki mwami yore kaguta mu 7 mau tani za vaina ganti haka kati mseveni ya nima nida 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 mau ya chiingira achimanyi ngaba naba lala haba duse wa mwami mseveni okufuna akalimu bajoi sebu guawo babeti kamia osobo la okumu trustinga kuchitu wechila la chona neka sachituka kukuchu sobu yinza president mseveni asobo la okulimbo mtu yena president mseveni ya limba wa dr semo gerele president mseveni ya limba wa honare bovidandi sali mu 2001 ne watu kano kuba akalanga akagama anti bamwe kisanja akasache kisemba yo ngabatu dena yenga musajja mukuru nacho kesera ne yechusa now president museveni's government through the permanent secretary to the ministry of foreign affairs mr waiswa bajire vicent has fired back at bobby wine's camp nup for helping stranded ugandans from the uae in cameras now, government says it's okay for Bobby Wine's camp to support the stranded Ugandans, but let them do it away from cameras because this is not showbiz. Well, I think that is why yesterday the 15 Ugandans who had been repatriated from Dubai were held by security operatives at Entebbe Airport, according to Bobby Wine. Now, His Excellency Bobby Wine says they were later released and drove them to taxi parks and instructed them to go to their villages. So it's very evident they didn't want these people to report at Bobby Wine's home in Magere or at their offices in Kamocha. Now, the latest update coming in from Mubende district indicates that security officers have become a problem to the residents. They arrest people, they abduct people, they shoot people, they are inbounding motorcycles all in the name of enforcing the presidential directives on Ebola disease. Well, according to the residents, yesterday a mother was shot in the leg by one of the security officers and she's currently on treatment in Mubende Hospital. Mama 
au naisa mwe mundu na kuwe sasa tetwa tegede nti obali kutema mama wabula mama ti yasemye okogera yagambye muzi te naye pakura bana bantu te bakomye kwecho jo batu ala mapichi ga gabantu bagaje wali kwero kenga ga parkinze nga gali munero ko ne bazikutula ne bagateeka ku moto ka ne bagatwara tega tega tambula tega kola chi ne dala dala mbuza museveni wateka wa mateka aba sirikale batusange nga mayumba te tuchi akola tubera waka twegalira na nkoko ne baje ne bankoko na ne bangamba kulao ne banzi kuzalwa mpaka ne baka obato lukudeo tugenda kola chi tugenda bandu chimu kusomozwa ze moto ka za drone zibadde zibike namba ate zikuba abantu emigo banyimalu kubanga zo kubisaka wonga ka family yange naye ke wonyisa mbadde na kayingira obwindi wanze moto kaya abakuma dembe basikide mune piki yange je mbadde mpandi mpaki nzao ngeli kaka wonga akaweza kilo 15 zimbadde ntwalira family yange e moto kaya kabangiri we yaze ne kujja ka kaunga no mucheri ne bikasuka kutaka nimba buza baganda bange rwachi ntwara emere ya bana waka nibagamba anti teka wansi nyange ninde mera kupiki nale mede kupiki musaje avude no mugo kumbi gugu kwa kumutwenze piki ninyita ninjireka abana bari waka well there you go those are some of the voices coming in from Mubende district speaking about this matter well, it should be remembered that Honorable David Kabanda, NRM Member of Parliament, through his Twitter handle, revealed that 1,000 motorcycles have been impounded and each person is required to pay 150,000 to 200,000 Uganda shillings to have their motorcycle back. However, Uganda police in a statement distanced themselves from the allegations made by Honorable David Kabanda, the NRM Member of Parliament. <music> Well, there you go. That's the latest update coming in from uh, that side of Mubende district. I don't know what you think about these stories that I have for you right now on the Buzz UG, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, most importantly, uh, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.